Watch OS 10 is now out and I'm going to show you in this video the first things to do after installing Watch OS 10. We'll cover some of the best Watch OS 10 features and I'm sure you're going to love them. Let's get started. The first feature that you absolutely have to check out with Watch OS 10 are the new watch faces. You can hold down with one finger on your watch face screen and modify the different watch faces that you have on your watch. You can swipe over all the way to the very end of your watch faces and press this new button and get access to all of the new watch faces. They are at the very top and all you have to do is just tap on them to check them out. For the Apple Watch Ultra here, we've got the new modular Ultra interface that we can add. We've got Nike Globe, we've got Palette, we've got Snoopy, and Solar Analog. I want to check out the palette interface that uses color, so I'll tap on that and then I can add that face to my Apple Watch. And here I can interact with it and modify the colors and make it uniquely mine. So I can scroll using the digital crown and see all the various different colors that they have for me. We can select one, I like the rainbow one here, so we can tap on that and swipe along to the complications. On this side, I can select what complications I want. So I can tap at the top here. We can say whether we want rain, temperature, or more air quality, humidity. Let's go with uh, the temperature. That's something we look at every day. So we've got the temperature there. We can change this one to rain. And then this one has my activity rings at the very bottom right. And then on the left here, we've got the energy clean option. So it tells us our current energy use based off where we're at. So we've got all the different options here. We'll hit X out here to exit out of that for the complications. Now we'll go ahead and hit the digital crown and tap on this palette interface. And we have our brand new watch interface here on our Apple Watch. So we can see all the different colors. We can see the complications in the top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right, right here. And it's really neat. Um, and anytime we want to modify this, all we have to do is just hold down on the Apple Watch and hit the edit button. And we're taken right back to the complication screen where we can come over here, we can tap on a complication and change it and put anything else we want, like the home app, we can tap that. And now the home app is in the bottom left. So very cool that we can come in here and interact with this new face. We can swipe over to the very right and hit new again and we can scroll down to any of the other new faces we'll tap on new watch faces at the top and we'll scroll down to snoopy and then we'll add snoopy we'll add that face and now we can make modifications to snoopy we can use the digital crown here to scroll or you can swipe up on the image screen here and you can swipe between the color or the style so we'll select peanuts three there and then we'll swipe over to the color and use the digital, digital crown to go up and down and we'll select let's say the green we'll swipe some more here we'll select the peppermint patty green color so you can interact and customize all of your different watch faces just like this we'll press the digital crown to confirm it and then tap on it one more time and now we have two brand new watch faces right here on our apple watch really cool we can hold down and swipe to the left to get the palette face and then we can hold down and swipe back to the right to get the snoopy face so just like that, we're able to interact with the new watch faces on the Apple Watch. And it's really cool because there are tons of different complications and tons of different watch faces where you can have a different you know, interface and different complications set up based off your personal needs. So really cool here. That's nice. It locks to the Apple Watch and then Snoopy went to sleep on top of the house. Really cool. The next thing that you have to try first on Watch OS 10 are all of the brand new applications. They have completely redesigned the weather app. So I'm going to press the digital crown and tap on the weather. And it's going to load up a beautiful interface where you can see in vivid detail what the weather looks like. It gives a little preview here of what it looks like. And then we can use the app to scroll down and see more detail. So this is a very nice interface because we've got you know a several day forecast here that we can scroll down and see what the weather's going to look like we can swipe up or we can use the digital crown and i think this is one of the coolest apple watch apps because of course this the background there changes based off how the weather is if it's raining you'll see a raining background if it's extremely sunny you'll get a beautiful you know sunny image so they've used great imagery here in the weather app and they've made it really cool that you can tap on these different features and get more information you can tap up here 
you can change your location and then you can tap over here and you can see you know where you're viewing condition temperature precipitation more details just like this so they make it super advanced to swipe along and you get a ton of detail on this tiny screen the uv index and more so just like this, you can modify all the different things that you want to look at. Um, and they've got various different faces just by tapping and you can view all the various different things right here. We can even look at the wind on our Apple Watch and it tells us the speed right now is about 15 miles an hour. We can swipe up and see the direction and what that looks like for us over the next few days. So this weather app has been redesigned from the, you know, the bottom, you know, from the scratch. It's really neat and I think you'll love it when you're able to check it out on Watch OS 10. Definitely one of the first things you should look at because it is really well designed and really fun to play with. If you love to stay up to date with the latest iPhone, you'll love to stay up to date with the latest 3-in-1 L Gear charger, which charges your iPhone, your Apple Watch, and your AirPods all at the same time. And look at the standby mode in iOS 17. Very impressive. You can check out and use your settings here, get different clock faces. This 3-in-1 charger from L Gear, you can get 15% off using the app find code. You can get yours using the link in the description below, and it is super cool. You can charge your AirPods, your iPhone, and your Apple Watch all at the same time. Check it out from L Gear, the 3-in-1 wireless charger. The next app that they've completely redesigned, we'll press our digital crown to get access to all of our applications, is the Activity app. We're going to tap on the Activity app, and here you can see whether you've closed your rings, you've got your exercise ring as the green one, the blue one, your stand hours, and then the pink or, or red one, you've got uh, your move goal. So you've got your various different fitness goals here, right here on your Apple Watch. And now they've dedicated an entire screen for each ring. We can swipe up and we can see all the different stats for that ring. So here we have the move ring where I can see in very big detail how many you know calories I burned throughout the day, the activity of when I did that and what that looked like. I can swipe up, see the detail of the exercise that I did for today. And in I in Watch OS, uh, the previous generation did not have these large graphs for the fitness app. So here in Watch OS 10, you've got these large graphs that you can see in great detail here on the fitness app that you can scroll down. You can see all the details here and it makes it really neat to come here and see all of your data right here on your wrist. So a very fun way that they've redesigned the activity or fitness app right here in Watch OS 10. You've definitely got to check it out. Of course, you can tap on these three icons that you have to see different stats so I can see my weekly summary of the move goal and all of the different weekly exercise goals and averages and stand goals here by tapping on the top weekly summary. Here you can tap and see your friends, how their exercise goals are going. And then in the bottom right, you can tap and see all of the different rewards that you've earned, the limited edition challenges, the monthly rewards, the fitness plus workouts. And they've made it really beautiful to come on here and tap. And then to see, you can tap on any reward or reward that you've received and see it and play with it on the Apple Watch. So a very fun way to interact with the brand new fitness app on the Apple Watch with Watch OS 10. You've definitely got to check it out. Next up that I want to share with you is a new way to interact with Control Center. Previously to access Control Center, you would swipe up from the bottom, but that no longer works. In order to access Control Center, now you have to press the side button. This button right here on the side, you press that once and Control Center pops up. Now a neat thing about this is now you can access Control Center while you're using applications and you don't have to exit that application. So if we head back to the Activity app, I can bring up the Control Center by pressing the side button just like this. Control Center pops open. I can come in here, I can modify something. I can ping my watch or I can turn off Wi-Fi and then I can press the digital crown and go right back to the application that I was currently on, which was the Activity app and still use it. So the Control Center can now be accessed from anywhere, whether you're on the watch face or whether you're in an application. And all you have to do is just press this side button right here, press the side button and voila, Control Center opens up and it makes it really easy for us to come in here and modify any of the settings that we need to quickly with Control Center. So they've completely redesigned how you access Control Center. You can now control it or access Control Center whether you're in an app or on the watch face itself. It's a really cool way. So if we swipe up, you saw earlier, you get this brand new interface. 
previously in watchOS 9, swiping up for the bottom brought up Control Center. But now it brings up Smart Stack. And Smart Stack is really cool because you can stack widgets and really relevant information. For example, if I hold down the digital crown and set a timer with Siri, it'll pop up as a Smart Stack and be there anytime I access the Smart Stack. So I'm gonna demo that for you right now. Set a timer for four minutes. So we've, Four minutes, counting down. So we've got a timer going on, and now I can exit the Siri screen, and I can swipe up from the bottom, and I get smart stacks. And this timer, since it's relevant information, it's kind of like a live activity, but you know, for the watch, and it's called smart stacks. So here, I've got the timer right here, and I can see that right from the home screen. All I have to do is just swipe up from the bottom, and I can see that smart stack of a timer. You can see all the various different smart stacks. You can have more than one smart stack. We've got one for my activity rings just right here. I can scroll down, see calendar, weather, music, workout, messages, and all of the apps just accessing them by, with the press of a button. So you can come in here, you can tap on a smart stack, it opens up that app immediately and you can get access to it. And it's a really cool way to interact with your watch. If you have something that's going on live or you got something that's you know instant, it can put itself in a smart stack and you can swipe up from the bottom and instantly see the latest results on it. Definitely something you have to try first when you get an Apple Watch with Watch OS 10. By far gonna be one of the coolest features to interact with just by swiping up and having access to smart stacks. You can come here and hold down and you can add new smart stacks. So other app developers are gonna be able to create smart stacks. One of my favorite ones is this app called Flighty, which is come, it comes out um, on Monday, and you'll be able to interact with it and see your flight delays or flight status using a smart stack right here on the Apple Watch. So third-party developers will have access to smart stacks, and they'll be able to add in their smart stacks, and you'll be able to see all the various different apps that support it and add in a smart stack widget just like you know holding down on the the smart stacks right here and then being able to come in here and reorder them or add whichever ones you want um, at the top so it's very fun we've got a little pin icon here that we can pin this one to the top or we can pin various different ones based off which ones we use the most so you just tap on it and it pins just like that so we'll zoom in there so you can see that so you can see the activity widget right now is pinned I can tap to unpin it just like that. If I want to remove it, all I have to do is just press this button right here. If I want to remove weather, I just tap the, the minus button and we'll tap it one more time and it removes the weather widget just like that. So I can come back here, I can scroll to the top or I can hit this plus button and add in other widgets. I can add in the book widget right here and now audiobooks instantly pop up as a smart widget right here in the smart stack in watchOS 10. So really cool way to interact with your brand new watch interface in watchOS 10. I think a lot of people are gonna love the smart stack widgets and be able to access information at a glance just by swiping up. The next thing I wanna share with you with the watchOS 10 that you've gotta try is in the mindfulness app right here. We're gonna tap on the mindfulness app and it's a new way to track your mood and your progress. You can scroll down and you can reflect. And of course, we always have had our breathe options in the mindfulness app, but I'm gonna do a, a section right here where we log our state of mind. Now with watchOS 10, the Apple Watch will periodically, you know, once you, um, set it up, it'll message you and say, hey, how was your day? And it'll ask you to log your emotions and your feelings. So I can come over here and I can just tap on this. I can do this manually. So I can log how I'm feeling right now, or I can log how I felt overall today. I'll go ahead and hit how I feel right now. And then you've got the option to swipe up and down or use the digital crown, and you can select whether you're slightly unpleasant, very unpleasant, or neutral, slightly pleasant, slightly pleasant, very pleasant. So you've got various different options here to select your state of mind and your mood, and you can come over here and select it. So right now I'd say I am pleasant, and then I'll hit the checkbox at the top right. 
And this is optional, but it has some additional questions. And what this does is it logs all of this information in your health app. And then over time, you're able to see your mood at various different points in your life. And you can use that, you know, to, you know, reflect on your life and then also your mental health overall. So we can come over here, we can select so what best describes this feeling. I feel excited, I'm super excited about watchOS 10 and all the new products that we have. So I'm happy and joyful. And then they don't just have positive stuff. We can scroll down to the very bottom and they have angry, annoyed, anxious. You know, sometimes things are not okay. And you can come over here and select how exactly you feel. So right now I can select indifferent. And, um, you know, based off these sad emotions, you can pick based off how you feel and then see how you're feeling over time in the health app. So I'm going to hit the checkbox in the top right here, and then it'll move us on to the next stage. What's having the biggest impact on you? So you can say health, fitness, self-care, hobbies, identity, spirituality, community, family, friends, partner, dating. So you can select what's having the big impact on me. And for me right now, that is work and family. So I'll select how I feel there and then I'll hit the checkbox. And now I've successfully logged how I feel with the mental health app. So really, really neat feature that they've you know enabled in watchOS 10 that I really recommend trying that you can try first right when you get watchOS 10 installed on your device. And I think it's a fun feature that's gonna help out, you know, you'll be able to reflect on how you feel overall and improve your mental health, you know, as you track your, your mind and log the different sessions that they have here. So these are a few things that you can try first when you get Watch OS 10. You can try the new watch faces. You can try all the new apps like Activity and the Maps app. And you can try things like your mental health, the control center, and the smart stacks. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to press that like button. Let us know what your favorite Watch OS 10 feature is in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed to AppVine, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to figure out when we release our next video. We love producing these technology videos for you and we appreciate you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.